Uh, I'm uh, Professor Tim Riley, uh, Head of Griffith Aviation, and um, I have I started Griffith Aviation uh, two months ago. Um, I have come from the UK. I, I had an interest in, in in transport, and through my degree, a range of topics that were studied, it was transport that, that interested me. Um, originally, actually, it was was cycling that interested me more in transport, and worked on cycle schemes for the government, but. As I broadened out to look at other transport problems, uh, the timing with my career change from consultancy to uh, academia and research and teaching, uh, it became increasingly aviation focused. So the challenges in the UK, such as where to build uh, future runways, the challenges about increasing passenger demand for air transport, that they, they became bigger issues and that was where the research interest went. I think partly, I, I mean, I would say Brisbane from, from the original memory and um, fondness there. I mean, I got offered the job here when I was flying back from Brisbane Airport, so that's got, got good memories. I think some of the international airports with great facilities, um, people always talk about Hong Kong, um, Schiphol, um, and, and, um, and actually uh, Singapore as well, these, these big airports with lots of facilities. Um, coming out here just to start work, I came through Dubai, very modern, a lot, a lot of facilities for the traveller. So, so in terms of general airports, what they offer, they would be good examples. I have fond memories of different airports in the UK who I've worked with and collaborated with, and I think particularly in Manchester, um, but also um, Gatwick, Heathrow, and then some smaller airports such as Cardiff Airport. Students coming into uh, wanted to study aviation um, certainly need some core academic skills coming from school. So, so the school skills coming in, um, maths, English, business, so those core competencies. Taking it forward, we offer students coming in um, a pilot training um, option but also a management option. The pilot training, you also need the medical side but also the practical skills to, to do that. Um, on the management side, um, building more of the industry knowledge. Um, so having that, that interest in aviation in airlines and airports, but being able to take that forward with the, the skills that you build in a degree here. I think longer term, um, to, there are a lot of opportunities in the industry. It's having students that going from here have that confidence, networking skills, certainly two of those things that we're keen to, to build upon and I've seen that from students in the UK but coming from 16, 17, 18 to then going out in the industry after a degree here that we would like and we do build upon those skills that like many industries aviation is about building your network of contacts about selling yourself um, about taking those core competencies forward um, to, to build not just into the next job but into a successful career in aviation.